Pro has an amazing looper section, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about it and how to map it with the pads on any controller. So how do we access our looper? What we're going to do if we're in classic mode, middle button, to get to our looper, it's going to be one of these buttons. So this is our waveforms. If we go to the right, now we are in our looper. This is one of the most limited views of the looper. We only get eight pads, but we could still use it. And then we lose either the mixer or the waveforms. So I would not recommend using it in the classic mode. So let's press the middle button to switch to modes. And now you would think that I would recommend the looper mode. So in the looper mode, we get the full access to all of the loops and we get a volume control for each individual loop. And then we could turn that off and get a bigger view. But even with the volume sliders, we still get the full view of all six of our loops. So in this mode, we could press play to play it, but you have to set one down here. We could change our BPM. If a song is playing and you have sync on, it is going to be in sync with the song that's playing. So the beats will be matched up. This is like I showed you volume slider. It's really cool to have the volume sliders so we could slowly slide them up, slide them down. Now down here, we could change our packs and there are a lot of packs or you could press more, download them. I would recommend testing these all out yourself. For me personally, my favorite ones are Funk Hop and Hip Hop Fusion. I think they're the coolest to scratch to. Also, Retro 80s is pretty cool. Then over here, we could switch to our sampler. And a lot of times, I'll use the sampler and the looper at the same time. So how do we set a loop? So there are these boxes here. So there's usually our like kick drum then some like hi-hats and percussions and tops and then bass and then like effects and leads and stuff over here but before i show you that let's press the middle button look at the features we have up here it's pretty limited if you're djing but if we press the middle button and go back to pro mode we have the features here we could open up our looper now we have waveforms jog wheels everything we need and then a big section of our looper and then if we wanted the volume controls, we could do that and you will only be able to, to slide in the one you select. So now let's do a quick beat. So we'll just do a kicks with some tops and some bass. So you just press it. You have a volume slider down here. This is gonna volume this is going to control the volume for all of the stuff that's playing and then if you press the play button and turn it off it is going to be off and if you press it again it is going to play again but it's going to remember the last thing you had so you could set one up and then be playing a regular music on your decks and then when you're ready to put it back it'll be there waiting for you now some tips and ideas on how to use this. You could do scratching with it, obviously. So you could set up a beat and scratch. This might not be the best scratching because I have my iPad actually tilted back a lot to get rid of the, the glare, but I will try. You could also use Nero Mix and do vocals only. Uh, uh, yeah. So you could set a cue point or a loop like this. So that's really fun and cool to do. Another thing that you can do is you could use this as the beat and then use the vocals from another song. So I still have vocals only there. So I'm going to play this. Make sure sync is on. So you saw how the BPM raised to match the 100 BPM. And 
as you adjust the BPM, it is going to change the BPM of the song. So with the with the use of Neural Mix and the Looper, you can make some pretty cool beats. Let your creativity really run wild. Next, I'm going to show you um, I'm going to show you how to map it for these pads real quick. So we're going to press the middle button. Settings. MIDI devices. There's our MIDI device. So now to choose which one you're doing, you're just going to press one of the pads. So now we're going to do target and action. So target is going to be looper. Action is going to be trigger sample track one sample one. Save. So I'm going to do track one sample two. And then for the next row, I'm going to do track two sample one. This one I'm going to do track two sample two. So there we go. We could set the kicks. So now you can map all of these and then you could start a beat like that. Really simple and easy to use it and to map it. I bought this controller specifically to map some of the looper into these pads and use it with uh, other controllers. And if you want to see my full tutorial on this controller and how to map it, check out this video over here. Thank you.